Dear Texas Governor Rick Perry, I had no idea you were born with a vagina. You make having one sound so easy. The way you speak of them with such knowledge and confidence, it sounds as if you have multiple vaginas that you can just put on and take off whenever you choose. What privilege it is to have so much authority over something you know nothing about. What legacy we have as a nation to have successfully shut down institutions that slice the throats of those who need to speak the most. When asked how you know so much about what women need, you say, and I quote, because I live with four of them, my wife, my daughter, and my two dogs. If you are able to put your wife and daughter in the same category as your bitches, it is no shock to me how you were so willing to shut down much needed facilities for the safety and treatment of women. You stand behind your actions by claiming you are here to enact the will of God. What soot must be in your soul, Governor, to taint such white a light. I swear, whatever God is behind you, I'll run the other way. A woman's body is not a state's right. The floor of the Senate is no place to be given a gynecological exam. You don't know what kind of fear and shame comes with such a body already. You wouldn't know what invasion of privacy it is to have your cervix scraped. If you listened to any of the testimonies that day, you'd know that a woman's body is not some sort of mechanic machine that shuts down when she is raped. We are not wind up dolls Rick, you don't let the jack out of the box and we ain't getting back in it. Some people must wonder what your mother must have done to you, but I'd rather ask what sort of example your father must have set to make you think that women are nothing more but flies to be swatted at. You've been trying to sit us down and shut us up for too long until Wendy Davis came along. A woman with so much hurricane in her ankles, I can't wait to see what sort of blue storm she's about to shake across this red state. A woman's body is more important than a political power struggle between two parties, Rick. People don't show up at abortion clinics with ice cream cake and birthday candles. They come with heavy shoulders and tear-stained cheeks, wanting a hand to hold and leave wishing there were instructions on how to shed the guilt and the shame. With so much talk about the sanctity of life, it's a wonder how the mother doesn't ever get mentioned unless when, she, unless when she's being called a sinner or a whore. It's time to open up your blinds, Rick, because there's a sea of orange outside that's about to scorch the skyline from walking up the same hill for too long. We are not here to ask permission what we can do with our own bodies. We're here to tell you that this body has never been a weakness, that this body is not a property that your government has the right to own.